going to be so fun and exciting. I am so ready to get into this. what's up welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome my name is Lauren Alexandria in today's video which should be fairly quick I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own texture DIY wall art at an affordable price you guys have been seeing this type of wall art all over here on YouTube Pinterest Instagram it is that very minimalistic wall art that people have all up over in their houses that can be very expensive if you buy it at retail price but your girl's gonna be showing you how I made mine for less than $20, probably less than $10. If you didn't know already, I'm a huge fan of creating and making things that are old into something new. So I'm a huge fan of DIY projects, so I'm super excited to get into this one today. So this is not my first time doing this. I already have three pieces up in my room currently right now that I did a while back with my friend and we absolutely loved it. And once the pieces were finished up in the room looking good, my aunt happened to come by and saw the work that we did and she loved it. So much so that she asked me to do one for her newly decorated room. So she ended up getting a 24 by 48 canvas from Michaels I do believe and she asked me to do one for her so that is what's going to be happening in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can make your very own texture wall art on canvas all right guys so let's get into the materials that you will need okay so first you will need a canvas of your choice like i said before i, I got the 24 by 48 well my aunt purchased the 24 by 48 from michael's you can get canvas from michael's hobby lobby um a place called blick art basically you can get canvases from any art store or maybe even at your local walmart i do believe walmart and target have canvases so you would need your very own canvas in um the size that you desire and then you would need some spackling so i got the dry decks dry time indicator spackling and what's so special about this spackle is that it is pink see it is pink and then as you work and as it dries it turns white so like i said it's a dry time indicator so while working it's it's pink and i got mine in a one gallon because the canvas is so big but i also have a 32 fluent ounce here if you're doing a much smaller canvas this should be enough as well this small size is also pink but it's a little lighter than the bigger one i don't know why but that shouldn't be a problem i've used both of them they both work just fine and i think the 32 ounce one was only like six dollars only six dollars and i think this one was about 15 15 to 20 dollars so not bad at all and this 24 by 48 canvas costs 34.99 so that's not bad the canvas could be the most expensive thing you purchase if you decide to go big and then next you will need your spackling tools so i got this pack of three from my local hardware store home depot they also have them at lowe's i've seen them as lowe's as well and i got two packs of them as you can see i've been using them i got two packs of them they are very cheap i think i pay like maybe a dollar and 98 cents for a pack of three and they are plastic of course hardware stores have metal ones if you want something a little bit more harder to use but the plastic ones work just fine and then lastly paint paint color of your choice now the paint part is optional Bagel comes out this cream color and a lot of people want it in this cream kind of tone so painting it is optional if you don't like the final color of your spackle of choice if you're into home decor and these types of diy projects fashion vlogs lifestyle i would love for you to hit the subscribe button below and join the family all right let's get to it swipes you guys I'm not thinking too much about it though <laughs> my artistic brain wants to think a lot about it I'm just going in and making little just swipes 
So try not to think about it too hard. I know you want it to look great, but you'll be taking forever, um, like I did on my first one. You'll be taking forever trying to get this done, and it's supposed to be something that you know frees your mind, allows you to be creative, and have something in your home to look at to remind you of a time where you were relaxed. So don't think too much about it. I know that's very easy to say rather than do because look I'm talking to myself now I guess mainly because I'm doing this for my aunt and not me <laughs> I'm just like okay I want this to be perfect for her but my aunt is very easy going so she will love whatever I do no matter what so that's the thing about her guys so I think that's all I'm going to do to this that's all the speckle I'm going to add again this is the dry time indicator speckle so it goes on pink but once it's fully dry it turns white so don't be afraid of the pink color let it dry and it will turn white and you'll know hey it's finished drying and then you can move on to painting if that's an option for you so once this dries I'm going to come back and show you guys what it looks like and I'm going to decide whether or not I'm going to add paint. All right guys, so it is the next morning and the piece has completely dried. As you can see, all the pink is officially gone. If you wish to add paint, so whites, grays, creams, um, to give it a more finished look, then this would be the perfect time to do that. All in all, this piece took me around 20 minutes to do with the dry time being the longest thing that I had to sit through because of the spackle being so thick. On this canvas, I didn't want any chipping or anything once this piece went over to my aunt's house. So yeah, I really enjoyed doing this piece. It was relaxing um, to my mind and it was just fun to just, you know, get my hands dirty again. Um, working with canvas and spackle and just, I don't know, it feels like ceramic of course, but all in all, it was fun, enjoyable to do. This is definitely something you can do for a girl's night. Have a glass of wine, some music, some girl talk, and just get to work, you know? I hope this video was helpful for those of you who are looking to do their very own minimalist DIY texture piece in your home. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.